the idea is, in fact, I mean, I'm sure you know the situation in Lombok that actually in, in 2000, the year 2000, uh, the, the Sasak majority people went on a rampage and burned down all of the churches in the, in the main city of Mataram. And since that time, it's been very difficult for the churches to have uh, any kind of a, a sense of uh, empowerment about their role and calling to to reach out to their Muslim brothers and sisters and uh, there's because there's a lot of fear associated with it so here we have a context in which the church has been victimized because of their faith in Christ they were attacked and persecuted and they have come out of that experience very wounded and feeling like victims themselves and yet now we're giving them an opportunity to be transformed out of that victim mentality in order to reach out to their brothers and sisters, their Muslim brothers and sisters, with the transforming love of Christ in a way that now gives them a sense of empowerment that, yes, we really can make a difference. We can make an impact. We don't have to be victims any longer. And in the same way, <clears throat> the Muslim communities that we're working with, we're overcoming those same, the same dynamic is at work. We're overcoming the same kind of barriers, helping them to move from victims of the natural disasters or the circumstances around them. They don't have to be victims any longer. By planning and working together and creating strategies that will anticipate and deal with those natural disasters in the future, we're creating a pathway from moving from victim to empowered.